We're here to give you some prospects to keep an eye on when watching the Fiesta Bowl and the Cotton Bowl this week. I'm joined by PFW's talent evaluator, Nolan Naraki. Nolan, start with the Fiesta Bowl. Oregon versus Kansas State should be a really fun game. Two teams known for lighting up the scoreboard. And Oregon's got an offensive guard that's really helped pave the way for that rushing attack. Yeah, Kyle Long, the younger brother of Chris Long, uh, the number two overall pick several years ago, uh, has really had a solid season for Oregon this year. He's battled through an ankle injury, uh, transferred from Florida State where he was a standout uh, lefty pitcher. And, uh, you know, he's showed some athletic ability and some foot quickness. There's, there's some teams around the NFL that believe he can be a left tackle prospect. He has that kind of length, that kind of athleticism. So he's definitely a prospect to keep around. And one of the Kansas State defenders that Kyle Long's going to have to block is linebacker Arthur Brown. He's a very speedy, athletic linebacker. Uh, has received as high as second round grades from NFL scouts this fall. Compares very favorably to uh, Tampa Bay second round linebacker Levante David. And now we set our sights on the Cotton Bowl where we got Texas a and versus Oklahoma, two former Big 12 rivals. Obviously, Nolan, all eyes are going to be on the quarterbacks in this one. We know everyone's going to want to watch Johnny Manziel for the Aggies, Landry Jones for the Sooners. Do you think NFL fans should be watching a battle in the trenches as we know all the scouts will be keeping an eye on. Yeah, Texas A&M junior defensive end Demontre Moore will be matching up against Oklahoma left tackle Lane Johnson. Moore's really come on this year as a speed rusher, one of the top sack artists in the country. He has outstanding bursts coming off the edge, but I think he fell into a lot of his production this season. Still uh, very raw as a pass rusher, learning how to use his hands, and I think he could, have been, he could benefit from another year in school, but there's a very good chance he's going to declare, and similar to Bruce Irvin last year with the demand for pass rushers, there's a good chance that he could go earlier than expected. Uh, Lane Johnson, I think, is one of the most intriguing athletes in this year's draft class from that left tackle position. Uh, has been clocked as low as 4th, 7-1 in the 40 by the Oklahoma coaches in the spring. I think he's got a lot of uh, very good chance to climb the draft boards in the spring because of the athletic upside, but he's still very raw as a prospect. He's a converted tight end. He's only started a couple of years. He played on the right side last year, and he still has a long way to go. Yeah, several players in this game could be seen playing on Sundays one day. Both these schools very good at churning out NFL talent. So those are some players to watch in the Fiesta Bowl and the Cotton Bowl. For all the best draft coverage, be sure to head to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.